Here's a bit of help for those of you having trouble getting Sonar set up. This is Sonar 7 and Windows XP. It will look almost the same for the other versions. Now the first thing you'll see, Sonar is going to do a series of tests. It will try and set things up according to what hardware you are using, sound card and so on. So I'll say yes, and it will check my sound card for all the different sample rates. When that's done, we can hit close, and sonar continues to open. Now we see the tip of the day. You can view the next tip or close this. I don't want this to show at startup, so I'm going to uncheck that box. And now sonar advises me that I have not selected my MIDI outputs yet. So I'll choose MIDI outputs now. On this computer, I only have the built-in sound on the motherboard, and I have no MIDI in at all. I'll talk more about this in a minute. Here it asks if I have a MIDI controller to control track, bus, and plug-in parameters. I'll say no, and I'll close the quick start screen for now, because I want to have a look at options, audio. And in the box that pops up, we want to go to the advanced tab. And the point I need to make here is this. There is no right or wrong way to set this up. There are three driver modes, WDM, ACO, and MME. So I think in most cases, you need to try all three of these driver modes to determine which one runs best for you. Here, Sonar advises me that the changes will not take effect until I restart Sonar. Not the computer, just Sonar. So I'll reopen Sonar, and again it will go through the tests, trying out this new driver mode. It seems to me that WDM is usually best when you just have a basic sound card, but as I say, you need to try them all. ASIO, or ASIO, is the best driver for zero latency sound cards. But as you try each one of these driver modes, go ahead and test and see if it works for your MIDI and for your audio. I'm going back to Options and Audio because I want to look here at the Playback Timing Master and Record Timing Master. When you finally get it set up right, you'll see your sound card listed in these boxes. Down below here, you can set the latency. I'm just going to leave that at its default for now and look at the Advanced tab once again. Here I see the WDM drivers have been selected and everything should work good on my computer. Now going back to options, this time selecting MIDI devices. Now this is where you would see your sound card and any other MIDI devices you have hooked up to your system, including your input up in this upper box. So don't be discouraged, Sonar will likely run fine on your machine, it's just a matter of finding the right settings.